start filming, he decides to drop one. Hold up and put your phone in, because I'm going. This is meant to be a hidden gem. What's it called? The boat in. Yeah. It turns out they were doing things that I didn't think Dodgy they were doing. things. Right then, where are we off to then? We should go and Matt Lock Bath. Go on then. Let's go. Right, so we're going to have to be quick here because there's music in the background, but we're in a place called the Midland Hotel. A nice little place, right on the River Derwent. Um, the menu looks alright, so we'll. Um, what have you had, sir? I've had a cheese baguette and you've had a ham baguette, and we're showing a bowl of chips as well. So I'll show you the menu. <laughs> said before we're here in um, Matlock Bath and uh, we found this lovely little pub stroke hotel um, looks really nice there's plenty of parking about yeah. we found a parking spot straight away and uh, we haven't two hour parking there two That's hours maximum yeah that, that was the first car park that we found there but there was a space in there back straight in but two hours on the ticket um, we've had a walk down to the furthest further end from the opposite end from where we parked we haven't gone any further up yet but I think it does continue round um, but it looks nice so far it's like it's got the nickname of it like a seaside village even though it couldn't be any further away from the sea whatsoever I thought there was a sea here Sarah asked if, we, if there's a beach there why didn't we bring the jet ski <laughs> forgot me bucket and spade yeah there's lots of sweet shops so. I've got you I've got your spoon thanks um, I've also found uh, a bolty house He's looking at it now. I can't it? understand how I walk into these places and walk straight up to a curry house. But there's actually a Chinese I'm looking out the window there, Eddie. There's a Chinese restaurant as well up the road. Yeah. Which I spotted. So we're all sorted for tonight's dinner. We're not cooking on the van today. Uh, we're looking in at... the van. What did I say? On the van. Oh no, don't cook on the van. I'll put the barbecue on the top of the van. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, we've got to do a bit of exploring. Then we're going to film on the way back up. Then we need to get back to the van within two hours and go and find maybe a parking spot where we're going to stay for the evening. Right, we've just had a bit of dinner in the Midland. Cheese and a ham baguette. Slightly overpriced, but there you have it. It is what it is. If you go up to the right over there, You've got the Heights of Abraham, uh, which is the cable car that takes you up to the top of the hill. And there's also two mine shafts up there. As you can tell here, we're in the right heart of the village. There's a war memorial there. War memorial. Yeah. Um, uh, to the men of Batlock, Matlock Bath, who gave all their, gave their all. <laughs> Gave their all in uh, a war of nations, 1914 to 1919. That's a nice mural. And I'll take that, that's a flag at the top there. Two young men, probably not very old, which is a shame, isn't it? A lot of fish and chip shops, a lot of arcades, and that's pretty much, and souvenir shops. And pubs. And pubs. And that's uh, about as far Sweet as, shops. Yeah. There's a tattoo place. Why does he do this all the time? I'll just start filming. As soon as I start filming, he decides to drop one. So, as you can see, there's plenty of bins in Matlock uh, Bath. <laughs> you need them with Ted around. It's like a machine. Uh, this, I believe, is the River Derwent. And that runs all the way through Matlock, Matlock Bath and down. It's not very deep, is it? I can see that's about, it's only about just over a foot deep there. So you wouldn't be getting boats down there. <clears throat> this looks like an old church on the right hand side which they're using it for it's just a little shop by the looks of it independent shopping um, you've got aromatherapy shops more arcades and so on so I suppose if you want to go on a pub crawl and, and eat and drink all, all the way up the street then uh, this is the place for you you can bring your children here 
great for the arcades because there's an arcade every other shop as well. And we've got a bandstand across the water here. Let's just show you this. I think the entrance to the entrance to Lovers Walk and also it will take you up to a hillside walk which is meant to be one of the most dangerous in the UK. Um, and it is sort of like a two foot cliffhanger path. Uh, but I believe it is still maintained by the council. So God knows why it's open if it's that dangerous. Matlock Bath is a village and civil parish in Derbyshire, England. It lies in the Derbyshire Dales, halfway between Buxton and Derby. So if you're in Matlock Bath Town and you cross over the Iron Bridge, which takes you over the River Derwent, it will lead you up a path that takes you to a place called the Giddy Edge. This takes you from Matlock to Matlock Bath and it's got a 300 foot drop from its narrow paths. It has a very long high street lined with quirky shops, cafes, amusement arcades and visitor attractions, as well as paths for shady strolls alongside the River Derwent. Which is Lovers Walk. Popular destination for families, bikers and fun seekers with a wide variety of accommodation available for overnight stays. This is the petrifying well. It was built during the 1780s to carry the thermal water from its source to the bathing pool of the fountain bath, which occupied the site from 1786 until 1883. It was then replaced by the Matlock Bath Hydro and the existing thermal pool. The spring is a daily output of 600,000 gallons at a constant temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. I can actually feel the heat in here. Feel the warmth. Can you? Yeah. Are you sure that's not your blood pressure? <laughs> no, you go out that way. We've just come in there. You've got to go this way. The Blue John Stone. Castleton, a small village in Derbyshire, is the only place in the world that the Blue Stone John naturally occurs. And that's the Blue John Stone there. And other different stones as well. Oh, a leaf fossil. This one likes the camera. Keeps coming up to the camera, look. <laughs> Follow me. Come on then. <laughs> Nearly as bad as the one we done in um, Stratford for It yeah. was just a, a roof, um, we just a loft. Like that, yeah. yeah. Ted got some shampoo from there, though. Aye. Ted got some shampoo from the place next door to it. Yeah. What they end up doing then is sending you out through the bloody arcades. You spend more dough. <laughs> Should I go and buy some sweets? Hold up and put your phone in because I'm going. Where are you going? I'm not going on that. Too heavy, aren't they? Thank God for that. I was going to get you a piggy. I'm going to get this for you, my tiger. Oh. <laughs> hooray, hooray. That's probably the, one of the only times that I'm actually glad that we never won. Sugar for sale. You happy now? So we had to walk round Matlock Bath. In all fairness, from what people were saying, I did think it would be a lot bigger than what it was. Yeah. It was just one stretch. I can see why people say it's like the the Blackpool of Derbyshire. Blackpool of Derbyshire. Because yeah, it arcades. is full of arcades and sweet shops like yeah. you saw on the 
before. But we're heading up to Matlock now and we're gonna go and have a little walk around there. I can't find no bloody parking. You know, Matlock, Bath, perfect parking, straight in. Matlock, town, nothing. There is? No parking. Right, if you get to the island, got it in my sat nav. I've been up and down this street like a rat up a drain pipe. Oh God. We need to get parked up in a bit because we're gonna hit the traffic at rush hour, which we've got to go all the way back through Matlock, haven't we? Yeah. Matlock Bath to get but to our park up. Come here to go for a little walk around. Get a few essentials. Get a few essentials Some from co-op. food and stuff like that. I'm gonna have a bit of a rant here. Matlock, we've moved up the road into Matlock about a mile. Nowhere for camper vans, motorhomes. There's all height barriered car parks. Um, you can't get anywhere on the side of the road. It is Friday afternoon, bearing in mind, but there's nowhere to park. So if you are in a camper van or motorhome, think twice about coming here. Sort your parking out first because it's very awkward to park. And I've been up and down, up and down. So Matlock Council, sort your parking out. Camper vans want to come in as well. I can see them driving around, but you're passing the same camper van as you're coming down the road, so they're in the same situation as me. They're looking for parking as well. They can't find parking either. So, Matlock, I'll have to move on. Imagine the window tax on that. Bloody hell. Cost a fortune. I'd be bricking them up if that was my ass. <laughs> there was, we've just been to a car park. We found a car park. Uh, which you can park 24 hours for 12 quid, does it? What are you holding? The microphone. Oh. Hello, testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. The, um... <laughs> and it doesn't say that you can't park there, like, sleep there. So that looks like where we're going tonight. And that is at Cromford Mills. Um, so if you're in a motorhome, camper van, whatever, it is about a mile out of the town of Matlock Bath. So you have got a little bit of a walk if you want to go back into the town. We have brought our scooter with us today, so we may find that we hop on the scooter and I'll give Sarah a backer. Oh, but that ended disastrous last time because we ended up going out for a few points. We ended up going to your mates, didn't we? Yeah. And then we rode, you rode it back with me on the front. And we got back to the house and then I got off and Sarah must have only been held up by me holding her up. I got off and she just went, boom, I might play it now. If I can find the clip, I'm gonna put it in now. She's laughing behind the camera. She dropped like a ton of bricks. <laughs> Funny. Watching, watching back the day after, that was unbelievable. That was hilarious, wasn't it? Well, Ted's heard now that we're gonna go for a walk and he's got excited and he's tail whipping us. <laughs> Are we going now? Huh? <laughs> He'll come back in a sec. Mm. Always does. Oh, there he is, there he is already. On. Get in the middle, Ted. Come on, quick. We're taking a photo. Are we going? Ready? Cheers. Right, so I've found a little pub. I've been recommended. This is called the Greyhound in uh, Matlock on Bath. Just on the outskirts as you're coming in. Uh, and I've just walked in there. Uh, I think the guy I was speaking to is the owner, but a real nice guy. They've also got a proper big pizza oven on there. Inside? Inside, that they use on the weekend. Um, and that, I could imagine, that's going to be really nice. I, I, it, today is Friday, so I was hoping that it would be on today, but it's not. So I've missed out there. But uh, this comes highly recommended. So I'll let you know. I've just had a little cheeky point of Prava. And... Um, We'll see how the evening goes. Right then, guys. Uh, looks like we've hit the second bob now. So it's all over. I think... Uh, it's halfway there. We're going to end up getting pissed for the night. Uh, now, what we're going to do, we're going to have some... It uh, looks like the menu is nice in here, so we're going to... Uh, it's meant to be a hidden gem, so we're going to have a little look at the menu, a proper go through the menu. It looks like there's some nice stuff on there that I like. Whether Sarah likes it or not, I don't know, because I like to cook the things on the last menu. But Sarah doesn't really like eating fish. I don't like fish at all. So. Not that I don't really like it. Well, I do. Oh, we're going to look at the menu. 
What and, do you uh, like? Oh, look at that. Look. Oh, fuck. That's red egg. Look. Perfect, yeah? Just remember it's on there. Um, so sand quality has just increased by 20%. Yeah. Just hope we don't get struck by lightning and blow up my Are bloody camera. Fish cake? On the other side. Look at this. Pies of the day. Steak and Stilton. I'm having one of them. Oh, yeah. I think so. I'm going to have a lamb and mint. Are you going to have a pie? Yeah, lamb and mint. Yeah, I think I will. And what, and I don't even like chips. lamb. Yes, you do. Stop lying. You lie. You she goes to the shop to buy lamb and comes back with pork. Yeah. True or not? True, yeah. <laughs> I have to but write it on my she hand. She it. She don't bloody know the difference. <laughs> Cheers before you drink. Cheers. Something moaning. It's all over. Are you in? Are you oh, that's me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can I get you anything else at all? No, that's it. Thank you. Yeah, what's the break? Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, you've got some chips on there. I've got to cut short there. Look at this. That looks nice. Look how many chips she's got on there. That was 100% 10 out of 10, without a doubt. What was yours? Yeah, okay. Oh, it was amazing. I even tried Sarah's chicken burger. It was lovely. It was like a southern fried chicken, but it weren't like the normal goujon. Southern fried? It was definitely southern fried, wasn't it? I could taste a bit of pepper and a bit of a bit of flavouring. And my pie, oh my god, I could eat another one. Could you? Well, I you couldn't eat no I'm full, I'm full, but I could eat another <laughs> one. Lovely. And Ted, he just eats anything. Ted shared with me. Mm. He's had chips, he's had coleslaw. He's had pie. Gravy, peas. Bread. I couldn't eat the bun. Anyway, we're going to sup up and then we're going to uh, head back to the van and then we might have, um, might have a couple of gins while we're in the van. Oh dear. So, We've come back to the car park. So much strange is going on. What do you think? Yeah, there's a few couples that keep going down there, disappearing. They don't really go anywhere. People, people are going in and out of the trees down here. Let me show you. Now it's nine o'clock at night, and there's people walking in and out of them bushes down there. I can't quite put my finger on it. What do you think? Hmm. I've got it. I've got my suspicions. Right, so we've parked up in this car park and there's a few like strange things going on down there. Ain't they, Greg? Greg? Oh dear. What is that? Right, I'm not going to explore. But I don't know where Greg's gone, and I'm a bit scared, to be fair, I'm by myself. I'm here. Bloody hell, you idiot. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm coming in now. Quickly get in. What is he like? What's the matter, Ted? Ted don't want to come in. I bet come you on. don't. Let's go. Neither do you, dear. Well... Where did you go? I thought you were behind me. I went for a wee. And then... Did you not see me walk past you? I saw a strange couple going into the bushes. Um, so I followed them in to see what they were doing. Why? Oh, I just thought it was... just thought they were up to something. What, like? I thought they could have been casing out our van to burgle it. <laughs> But it turns out they were doing things that I didn't think Dodgy they would be. Dodgy things. 
I came back to the van as quick as I could, obviously. <laughs> and that was when you found me. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>